Okay, this is the one that made me the most nervous. And I think rightfully so, because I feel like this is the first one we're doing where I'm not just using craft supplies, I'm actually trying to be artisty, right? So I went out and I made a whole bunch of abstract marks and I looked at other artist ones and they have, this to me feels a lot like journaling, but this felt like that could be an abstract mark. This is where you have circles and then you color around it. Wait till I show you that, that was a debacle. This was okay. I like these little exclamation pointy type things, squares. I think I'm gonna stick with, with baby ones. Okay, so I'm gonna do squares, X's, circles, dots, and lines today. And then I have a um, stencil here, let me show you it. So this is a Seth After stencil and he's a real artist. Um, so I'm gonna do this, make marks two different ways. One I feel, actually three different ways. One I feel is a little cheaty, but I don't care. Um, one is uh, what, the way I'll probably be doing the most of my marks. And then one is doing them myself, okay? So here are three, so I did some, and I wanna show you how horrible it can be. So on this first one, I thought, oh, I'll outline all the sections. And I don't like that at all. I had these um, teal crosses that I thought were okay. I tried a circle-y thing over here. I don't like that at all. I like this circle-y bit, but I think I really messed it up. Two things. I think the white that I use a lot in my magazine collage is too stark a difference um, from the... Uh, the color of the page. So now the white is what you see rather than the color. And so then I did another one on a page I didn't like, and now I really like this page. So what I did was I did crosses and then outlined them. I did circles and put an inside circle with a shading. I used Seth Apter's crosses. I used his, no, I just drew those circles. Um, I made straight lines and then circles and then outlined. So I had this um, little stamp doogie and then I just made two lines outside and then I made circles around it. So I really, really like that. So let's go find, uh, well, let's do these pages because these are the pages that I'm supposed to be doing with you. Okay, so I have a little bit of black on here. I'm not sure about using black yet at all. I have some gold paint and we have some gold paint in here. I could use that. I'm almost feeling like I wanna pull in some of that bright blue somewhere else on this page. And maybe we could do it with marks. Let's try that first. All right, I have a just a little makeup sponge I cut, and we're gonna try some Seth Apter marks. Let's see, let's find some cute ones. Okay, here's a whole bunch of, like a little thing. And what I'm gonna try to do is put the blue right up to the red and the gold, but not get in there. And I almost wonder, Let's use, so I have these, these blender brushes that are um, way more, um, this one's getting a little hard. I could probably smoosh it down and get it going again. So we'll try it two different ways. We'll try it with a makeup blender and we'll try it with this uh, blender brush. Shake your paints. Okay, so we're going right up to the edge of there. And I'm kind of dabbing rather than smushing because I don't want it to go under this stencil. All right, I don't think I can talk and do this at the same time. Okay, now this is a tricky bit. I want to get kind of around there. 
but I don't want to get over there. Okay, let's try it. All right, so now I have kind of that color there, there, and I need it one more place. Let's do kind of this little bit, and I'm not really worrying about what what the shapes are on this one. I'm just trying to to figure out what I like, like almost down to the color. Not even necessarily what kind of shapes I like, just how I like the colors to go, because after that green debacle, I'm really, um, I'm shook. I'm shook that I hated it that much um, with the white. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can get colors I like at this point. Okay, there we go. So I don't hate that. I think I may have to be a tiny bit more careful with my stencils this time because I really do not want to have the same color paint schmudging all over the place. Okay, so we can do it with a stencil and you could do that with any kind of stencil, right? It doesn't have to be this particular stencil, but I'll put a link to Seth's shop. Um, He's, I'm not an affiliate for him. I just like his products. Okay, now let's go with a red. Oh gosh, I am not a painter by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm gonna try to paint people. Okay, I have a fairly stiff, this feels like, this feels like a recipe for disaster. Okay, this is a, gonna use it to make X's. Okay, we are gonna try something easy. Oh, 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 I have even another way we could do this. <laughs> I have these little, so this could be like stamps. Um, I may use some of these and see what we like, but I was thinking, oh, here, this is what I was looking for. Okay, so let's take a credit card. We're gonna run it in paint. We're gonna make some lines. We're gonna run it in paint and we're gonna cross them. Okay, seen that on the internet. That worked. I have no control over where this paint is going, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Okay, now I want, I don't want my marks to be like totally separate. I want them to kind of be integrated into my, um, my other marks. I kind of love these ones. This is my favorite thing so far. I like the, the linearness of that. Okay, I feel like we have fun stuff going on and nothing going on right here. So let's pull in a Seth. How about some circles? Okay, I probably need to let this dry for a wee minute. All right, while we're letting this dry for a wee minute, I'm the least pa patient person in the world. All right, let's get orange out and let's do orange. Oh, we could use that gold. Let's use that gold to make crosses. I really like the crosses. They're my favorite so far. And I know I'm supposed to use my extra, gosh darn it, I'm supposed to use my extra journal, which I have here. I should have made marks on, with that red paint on my extra journal. So we'll remember that this time. Okay, this is a very stressful, peeps. Very stressful. This feels like actually doing art. And I love whatever this stuff is. It's just my favorite. Okay. And I bought it on cheap, cheap, cheap. I'll never be able to find it again, but that's okay. We still use it. Okay, let's do this. Now that was very forgiving. I didn't, oh gosh darn it, I touched my stuff. I didn't feel like I, uh, I 
guess you could tell a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it. I didn't feel like I got enough the first time. So then I went back in and I did a little bit more. Oh, I like that. And you'll notice I tend to do things in threes. My father-in-law, who's a real artist, says you're supposed to do things in odd numbers. And then I've watched a number of real artists and they say that odd numbers keep your eye moving around the page. I'm okay with that too. All right, we're gonna leave this for a minute. I almost feel like I want to go back in here with this gold and straighten out this line. Okay, I got to get off my sanding block. And I'm just going kind of, I just smudged that line. All right, this tells you you can't kind of do both at once, right? You gotta, we're gonna have to let them dry in the middle. Darn it. I'm used to being able to be a cowboy and go do whatever I feel like. Now, I will say that I'm glad I smudged because now I know you can go back in and clean up your smudges, your smudgy lines. I don't have to be so paranoid, but I'll be back when my smudgy lines dry. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that, let's do this and use up this paint. I feel like I don't like this one at all, so let's get some cool gold lines in there. And being at how low this is on the on the layers, I bet you you won't see much of this when I actually do some art. Oh, let's see what can we can we scrape it? Let's try scraping it. Ooh, can you make big? I think I feel like that's a big square. Does that same thing happen again? Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's get the rest of this gold on here. Look, I got some paint goobers. And we'll let this dry too, and I will be back. It's dry. I kind of love how this turned out. I wouldn't have thought that I would like that so much. Um, and that was just scraping the credit card with the paint, right? Ooh, we're learning something. Okay, so let's come back to these guys because this is what I'm going to finish up with you today. I kind of feel like, so let's think about this. We have blue, blue, blue. I have three blues. I'm good. I have three golds. I'm good. I'm thinking maybe do something red, red in here. Of course, I didn't shut my paints yesterday. My Maybe a, what about a stamp? Hmm, hmm, we already used that stamp here. Where's that stamp? Don't know where that stamp is. Oh, look, I have this one that's just dots. I kind of want to just keep it to, to marks on this one at least. We could do the script. Pull both of those. Here's another, oh, little circles. Oh, those kind of look like those circles, huh? Okay, let's try that. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I may have to do two things because I wanted to show you one more way I have been doing this with my Posca pens. I got a giant Posca pen bag. 
Um, so if we're saying we're going to do red, there's a red. And then this red is a little darker red. And then we have kind of, so with, with your supplies, you want to think about what will work, right? Because I started with a darker color, I know that, um, pit pens won't work. Those are alcohol ink pens and they're going to be great for shading. Don't get me wrong. We're going to do, um, the last layer is going to be finishing this with, uh, inks and maybe some pit pens i think inks and pit pens but um i need something that's opaque so i need either acrylic paint like this which you can buy super cheap at the store or paint pens otherwise it won't it'll be translucent on this on this darker color right so i hope that made sense it made sense to me Okay, so first I am going, oh, I'm gonna make big marks. So do I want circles? Do I want numbers? I kind of want numbers. Cause I did, didn't I do numbers on this one right there? Three, see, there's the bottom of that one. All right, so I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna cross these two. I like this red pen better. And now I don't have to stress out about drawing this, I can just use a stencil. And then if I want to fill it in, so I did this on the, um, the blue page I showed you. I did this on the blue page and then I did wind up coming in, back in and, um, you know, filling in or highlighting a wee bit um, where I felt like it could use a little something something. But this is a great way, just grab your stencils and you can color right through them, right? And I could do this the same way as I did with the stencils with the um, makeup pad, but I like a Posca pen. I'm not gonna try those baby dots. If I want baby dots, I'll just make my own baby dots. And I'm gonna make this X. And you can pick and choose which part of the stencil you want to use, right? Now, these stencils can tend to be a little hard on your paint pen. See how that's that's not giving us full coverage? We'll work on this one, and then we'll come back. But in the meantime, let's put a little bit of paint, more red paint, on this little area. Okay. All right. Oh, shoot. I was sitting there doing it, and I'm like, there's something about this. Darn it. Okay. Here's a scoop on paint. Number one, you can't um, leave paint in your stencils because acrylic paint is functionally glue and it will um, fill up the parts of your stencil. So right now I'm just gonna clean this a little bit. And then what I just remembered, Doi, is that you wanna use a brayer. Gosh darn it. You wanna use a brayer like this to put the paint on your stencil. That way you get it on the top and not all over your, um, not all pushed down into the stencil, right? Okay, here we go. And I didn't want that to be perfect. If you wanted to, it to be perfect, put it on an acrylic block, right? Okay, let's freshen this up a tiny bit. And let's do over here too. Ooh, I love that. Okay, I, I kind of love what that's doing. We wanna, I'm starting to think I have a, I have a chance to be an abstract artist. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this off right here or wet it. And then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna wash that in the sink. Okay, while this red is drying, let's do something. Oh, look, I do, did some red drippies there which I'm fine with, um, orange, okay. Actually, I'm not fine with it because I'll spread it. Oh, this, this abstract art is just, to make it look deliberate. Okay, so let's think this through. I want some stuff over here. Do I want them to kind of, they're very different, right? 
Do I want them to kind of be, let's use my pit pen or my um, paint pens and let's pick, oh, here's some more stencils. Oh, yay. Okay. So these are Diane Reevely um, stencils. I don't know I want to circle, but what about those lines? Oh, how about a line and a dot? Or how about lines? Maybe lines down there. Okay, let's try that. I don't know if I'm ready to do my own marks yet. I'm kind of a, I'm feeling a little wimpy right this second about it. And you're gonna find with different paint pens, with different paints, You'll get a, a fuller coverage. You'll get less of a coverage. You just have to play around with them, but that's no big deal. We're gonna go back to that one here in a second. Okay, and I don't wanna go over the bottom of this. Okay, I like that. I think that's cute, but now I feel like I wanna do it one other place to make it feel like it's part of it. And I just put it in that paint. I kind of knew I would. It's all right. It's okay. Let's clean off this stencil where we got the red paint. Okay. So now I feel like with what we did with this guy over here, kind of filling in some of those big areas, I'm going to take these other guys. And these are both um, Seth Apter stencils or Seth Apter stamps. I think because he's a mixed media artist, some of the stuff that he makes, of course, feels like it should be in here. And what I'm going to do is he says that we're supposed to use up that red paper. So we're going to take our brayer and pick up this red paint and not waste it. Roll it out. Okay, cool. I like having this little extra book. That page isn't bad. It's starting to do something. Okay, now we need orange. Did we have orange out? Okay, so here's some orange craft. And where'd our book go? Gotta be careful I don't put my finger in my stuff. All right. We'll just roll this on gently. know that that did as much oh, I don't really like that it just got kind of smooshy that's okay it'll put a bit of color on there I don't want smooshy I want cute so I'm gonna go back to this one that one might have been good for a background but for a little detail I'm not sure that it's the right one but I have so many layers of stuff on here that I can absolutely there we go that's more what I was looking for. <gasps> Look at how cute that is. Maybe a titch over here. Do we want to re-ink? All right. I'm feeling good about how I'm making these marks. Yep, just a little something, something. Okay, so I'm good with that. Let's get our book work kind of... Let's go over here. Put a little orange on this one. How fun is this? I kind of love this. Can we do this? There we go. Sweet. Okay. All right. So I think for, oh shoot, I was gonna help, I was gonna show you this. And I think I can turn this. Yep, I totally can. Okay, so now, 
We know we did some extra stuff here and some extra stuff somewhere else. But I know as a righty, I can come in here and put my hand down and not mess this up. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this again. And it will brighten it up a little bit. Right now it's a little um, faded. And I may need to just get more acrylic paint out of, coming out of there. That already looks a little brighter. And if I wanted it totally red, so here's a scary trick for you. If you want it totally red, I would have to paint it white underneath, right? And then go on top of it with red. But I don't want, like this isn't a feature. None of this is a feature. All of it is just part of the whole. So I don't need it to be perfect or super bright or anything like that. In fact, I like that it's kind of a little higgledy-piggledy. I think it's pretty good, right? And then I'm just gonna do this. And I'm just gonna do this. And you can be super neat or not super neat. I'm not super neat. Okay, there we go. All right, so I think this making marks, I don't know, I kind of feel like I want a little something there. Hmm, hmm. Let's see. What if we go back to the Vicky Booten X's and we make some X's? There's my Vicky Booten X's. Now, this is wet paint, so I'm just going to tap this off real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I'm going to do them this way. Make them more, look more, make them look a little bit more organic. Like I didn't cheat and use a Vicky Booten stencil. <laughs> there we go. Let's see how they look. <gasps> oh, now I feel like I need one over here to kind of merge these two areas so I don't have an orphan over here. Oh, I like that. Okay, I am going to come in. Let's make sure I'm not putting my big old paw. And I'm gonna fill that out a little bit. And I don't necessarily need my ends to be so raggedy. Feel like she kind of cut that one off so let's fill that in I don't know I think that you know I know for sure I could have made X's but I feel like using Vicky's stencil just gave me a little bit more confidence to not feel like I had to do it all, I'm gonna kind of cut this one off, like it got cut off. See, I just think that looks so much better. Do I want one more? Kind of cut off up here. Yep, I did. So what do you think? I think this is great. So I'm done with this layer. The last layer is going to be um, going in with shading with the um, inks. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.